ability to have one single AI talk to another AI, this is analogous to how our neurons, they talk to each other. The Internet of AI is here. But is there a missing element ahead of the curve? The next step is be the front runner in the race of AI. And is renewable energy a part of the solution? So Paraguay sits on one of the biggest treasures that humanity currently has, a lot of electricity. Deep in the heart of South America, in a small but literally powerful country by the name of Paraguay, lies the Itaipu Hydroelectric Power Station. The excess of electricity generated can once and for all elevate the local economy by providing AI computation that partakes in this new internet of artificial intelligence. That's why we're here in Paraguay, because uh, what we are offering through HyperCycle is fantastic for the country and also Paraguay can offer a lot of advantages for artificial intelligence in tomorrow's world. Penguin Digital, in collaboration with HyperCycle.ai, presents HyperPG, powering the AI revolution. Created by One Day Productions. Artificial intelligence will continue to evolve with or without our effort. But the race for AI is not just about ideas, it's about power. The power to process massive amounts of data. Securing the interactions between its smallest components will lead to an unprecedented emergence of intelligence. The decentralized nature of this emergence can give us all the ability to partake in this new Internet of AI. Welcome to HyperCycle, the revolution of decentralized AI and hypercomputing, realizing the benefits of converting electricity into intelligence. In the history of Homo sapien, we evolved and we got to the point where we governed this planet not because of our individual power, it's because of our cooperative. Now when you look at AI, they're not cooperative, they work in silos. In order to enable AI to subcontract AI in a sub-second, it needs a certain element in technology that we happen to provide with HyperCycle, and this is how we got together with this fabulous uh, client that is called Penguin. We're here in this Penguin house. The beauty about what they're doing is that they use a lot of the proceeds to educate people in programming and so on and so forth, and they have about 400, 500 students. This is how Penguin, a front-running computing center and software solutions provider in Paraguay, became one of the main ingredients utilizing HyperCycle to monetize this effort and benefit the local economy while servicing the world with this collaborative AI computation opportunity. I came for the first time to Paraguay around two years ago in 2021. One of my very good friends, the initial founder of Penguin, uh, Mr. Björn Schmidtke, he brought me here and asked me whether it would make sense to build data centers here in Paraguay to fund the Penguin Academy boot camps, so our teaching activities, so to actually have an impact on the country by using one of the most important resources in Paraguay, by using the electricity. But it's been a great adventure so far, a great journey, and we really hope to make a difference today and in the future with what Penguin is doing here in Paraguay, transforming energy into human potential. I started from the bottom and I became head of house operations at Penguin House. The most beautiful thing about Penguin and are the people, all the community, we all work together, you know, to, to keep growing, not as individuals, but uh, as a group, more of like the family and the community. At one point we realized that Paraguay has one of the world wonders, Itaipu, where we are right now. And Itaipu is the biggest generator in the world by production. It is 14 gigawatts. That is basically 20 times the electricity you need to fuel Paris. For 50 years, Paraguay has Itaipu and it has not used its electricity. 
And of course, we as tech people, we thought, let's make use of the electricity, let's build data centers, and let's make Paraguay the digital hub of Latin America. The bottom uh, line with this is that folks are able to utilize that uh, power that they have to run those AI computers. And because AI demand continues to be higher than the supply, the chances are for this to be profitable or extremely high. Sufi Saliba, the author of Tota IP, an internet protocol built from the ground up to transmit value with zero third-party dependency, was invited to partake in this project and has elected to make it his main focus as it naturally falls into the evolution of the next step. The reason why I was asked to lead the project HyperCycle it was one of we known AI scientists, his name is Ben Gortzell. Many people in the AI industry, they know who Ben Gortzell is. He's author of 25 books and a lot of papers on the topic. And uh, when it comes to AI, a lot of people, they have different opinions of what could work, what could get to AGI or whatnot. But what is common between a lot of uh, AI scientists is that if you were to run AI, you need to do it in a way with the least amount of friction. Friction is our enemy. That's what we get rid of with Toda IP. I am the author of Toda IP. So when Ben approached me and told me that this is the time to run the singularity on uh, Toda IP, I got extremely excited and I don't only want to be involved, I wanted to run this initiative. And that's where I am. I am the CEO of HyperCycle. And uh, with that, I'm trying to converge all of the expertise that I have from like AI, cybersecurity, and uh, cryptography, and try to uh, put it together. And, HyperCycle leverages dozens of projects, decades of R&D, the latest in cryptography, cybersecurity, and AI. This unprecedented convergence is believed to bring through the internet network the high PC packets, the missing piece we all have been waiting for to enable true P2P collaborative AI to AI at the smallest modular level. truly looking forward to enable anybody with a computer to operate AI. Welcome to HyperCycle, the evolution of artificial intelligence. Join the Cyberlution. Welcome to HyperCycle.ai.